struggling to find a great book gift for a friend? In this video, I'm going to give you some examples of great books that can enrich the receiver and maybe you'll find your next read. Let's go! What's going on guys? My name is Z and this is Fearless Dreams, the place where we set ambitious goals, we achieve them and then we repeat until we get the life that we really want. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and expect to see weekly videos with tips and tricks on personal and professional goals and how we can make our dreams reality. <laughs> Check this bad boy out. Okay, this is the second episode of the gift series and we're going to discuss some of my favorite type of gifts, books. And if you have missed the first episode where we're talking about experience gifts or the art of giving a memory to someone, I'm going to link the video down below and don't worry, you can watch it later. Before we begin, let me just read you some book quotes from the internet. Books are uniquely portable magic. Yeah, I like that. There's no friend as loyal as a book. But how would that work if I if I have an issue at 2 a.m.? Like, how do I call the book? Mm. Reading a good book is like taking a journey. Yeah, I can totally relate to that. The person, be it gentleman or lady, who has not pleasure in a good novel must be <laughs> intolerably stupid. This is some kind of 20th century marketing trick for novelists. Speaking of novels, if you're expecting to see fiction books in this video, I'm not going to include any. I'm a personal believer of non-fiction and I really enjoy the facts behind the stories. I can personally relate to it and it kind of makes it more tangible and more achievable in, in my world. But if you're looking for suggestions for fiction books, Tim Ferriss has a very short and great video on the topic. I'm going to link it down below. And if you like don't want to listen to the whole video, you can just skip it, go to the comments, and there will be the four books that Tim Ferriss suggests. And on top of that, there will be other people's suggestions too. So check it out. Books are here to enrich us, to give us food for thought and to help us steer our life in the direction that we want. And of course, in many books, we can learn new skills and acquire new skills that will help us to achieve our goals faster. In some cases, they will help us to set our goals if we don't have any. Pretty much the rules that apply for experience gifts also apply to book gifts make sure that the book matches the person's personality. And also something very important, make sure that the book and the topics inside of it match the stage of the life that this person is in. You have probably heard the expression, we're not on the same page. And that pretty much applies for a book and its reader. It might be very difficult to get the most value of a book if we are not ready to hear what the author wants to say. That makes for a really bad gift. You know, you can imagine that you've put all this effort to pick it and at the end, the person is not into it. And let me give you an example. So, for example, if my focus right now is personal finance, giving me a spiritual book at that moment will not bring me the same value. The books I'm going to share with you today are divided into five categories. Autobiographies, spiritual books, personal finance, business books, and self-improvement books. And let's start with autobiographies. This is one of my personal type of books, and it's a really great way to meet your idols, see what they've done to be successful or how they have failed. It really gets you that much closer to them and to see that they are actual humans and that you can also achieve what they've done. The type of autobiography that you're going to choose for a gift really depends on what the person is interested. For example, if your friend is to any kind of sport, make sure you research, find out which are the greatest athletes, even back in the history of it, and just try to find an autobiography of them. Two of my personal favorite are Andre Agassi, 
And for those who don't know who he is, he's a professional tennis player and he's one of the very few that won all of the four Grand Slam titles. Another one is Shaquille O'Neal's Shaq Uncut. He, he, he's a great guy. He's a very funny guy. He's also a great businessman, so you can see the mix of both sports and business. And also, he's one of the early Google investors, so he has a lot of interesting stories to share. Make sure you check it out. It's, it's really fun one. Recently, I read, actually, I heard the autobiography from Kevin Hart. And, you know, we know him as this little funny guy, but what stands behind and how much hustle he had to do in order to get to this point, it's very interesting. And actually, right after this book, I opened one of his stand-ups in uh, Madison Square Garden. I think it was even his first one. And at the end, he really cried. That was one of his biggest dreams and he made it a reality. And it was really, really inspirational. If the person is not into any specific field, you can of course check out business autobiographies. They make for a good gift. Of course, you can get the really famous ones like Steve Jobs and all the other gurus. But for me, Richard Branson has a really, really interesting approach to business and to life. And he's really basically breaking all the rules and at the same time making a lot of money and having a lot of fun. So make sure you check out Richard Branson. Another one that I found very interesting was from the creator of Nike. I wasn't a big fan of the brand, but they have a very unique culture that I can relate to. And it was extremely interesting to find out more about it. The second category of books that we'll look into is spiritual books. And in this one, I just want to share one example with you. And that is my favorite, Robin Sharma's The Monk That Sold His Ferrari. I think it's an amazingly inspirational book and it kind of summarizes everything else that I've read in other books. Also, the author puts it in a very easy and understandable way. So that's why I think this makes for a perfect gift. The third type of books that we look into are business books. And this is a huge section. Actually, all of the sections are huge when you think about it. There's so, so many books. Basically, every professional that has had some kind of success has a book on it. And two of my personal favorites are Gary Vaynerchuk and also Grant Cardone. Those two just go and say it straight to your face. I love their style and how they get to the point very quickly. Gary Vaynerchuk is famous for his social media skills and so on. And I really like reading his books because he kind of looks into the future and most of the time he's right. So check out his books. Grant Cardone on the other side is focusing on sales and his ego is huge. You can also check out his YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. His philosophy in life is just set hugely ambitious goals so even if you fail okay that's fine you will at least achieve more with if you set lower goals two of his books that i can recommend are the 10x rule and sale or be sold the fourth category that we'll look into is personal finance and i think everybody should read on this that might make for a perfect gift for anyone who's younger so maybe they're graduating college or something like that we don't really get any education on the subject and I think it's very important. And again, there are two authors that I can recommend. Tony Robbins and Robert Kiyosaki. All of Kiyosaki's books are very easy to understand and I think are a great first step into personal finance. Obviously, his most famous book is Rich Dad Poor Dad, so make sure you check out that one. On the other hand, Tony Robbins is not mostly famous for the finance books that he writes, but he has two in specific that get more into detail and more into depth of personal finance. The latest one, Unshakable, really gets into the details of how we can start investing and prepare for the future. The last category that I want to share with you are self-improvement books and more specifically two type of books. The first ones are those type of books that really keep you focused on the goals. And the two that I can recommend are Ask, with a very long title that I need to check. Ask, the counterintuitive online formula to discover exactly what your customers want to buy 
create a mass of raving fans and take any business to the next level. I think this is a great book because you can use the strategy for asking questions for anything in your life and really keeps you focused. Another one that I can recommend is the one thing. This book really helps you stay focused on what is most important and just ignore all the noise around you. That is it for today, guys. It doesn't matter which category you pick, just make sure that the book matches the personality of the person. I personally don't read that much anymore. I prefer listening to books, but it will be kind of weird to give someone an audiobook. You cannot really like wrap it. Let me know in the comments below what are the best book gifts that you have received and also that you have given. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the last episode of the gift series. In that one, I'm going to discuss how you can get a great gift without spending any money at all. I hope you have found the perfect gift or maybe your next read. Keep reading or listening, keep dreaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. But, 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 I like big butts and I cannot lie. but, intolerably, <laughs> books, bo book, books are meant to, end. it might be difficult, it might, it might be difficult, business books, and, Basically, every professional that had has uh, has had. The last category. <clears throat> the last category. <laughs>